Simon. That's the way you deal with things. I have always been a feminist with as many M's as you could possibly want. And uh, I've always, I knew that since I was a little girl, I did not know what I wanted to do, but I knew the kind of woman I wanted to be, and I wanted to be a liberated woman, a woman in charge. So I carried that flag always. My son always said you should create an award that would give women prizes and money and exposure. This is important here. Okay, so now we can go around. What time is it? It is 10.38. Come on, guys. We could talk about the award. I think we should do it in the showroom in that little round table. Okay. Oh, here, where is she? I hear her voice. I mean, she's... Ah, uh, no, vieni giù al secondo piano. I'm getting Stephanie to print out the Google Doc that we have of all of the people that we're dressing and what options they have in front of them. Don't do only things in the store. Nikki Hilton is wearing that dress, so you can't have three of them. You need more color. Okay. And then you need some vintage. And you need to go in the cellar. Do you want me to help you? Sure. Let's see. Oh, that's great. Nice. What about the blues, all the blue things? This is very nice. It's really flattering. Addison It'll be nice really on like someone. It. This is beautiful. Okay. You um, see you fun things. It starts really with the honorees. There are five categories of honorees. Lifetime Leadership Award, we have an Inspiration Award. There are two international. And then there is one called the People's Voice Awards. This year for the 10th anniversary, we decided to change location. We love the UN, but we wanted to do something a little bit different for the 10th annual. And then we decided to go to the Brooklyn Museum. I'm very, actually, very, very excited that for the 10th anniversary, I will honor Anita Hill because she is everything that you want to honor. She's a true advocate for gender um, equality and race equality. So the Inspiration Award goes to Katy Perry. She really advocates for children. She's a UNICEF ambassador. She understands the vulnerability of a child. Susan Burton, mm -hmm. she has a five-year-old boy that gets shot by police. And how do you survive that? And then she spiraled down and she got out of there. And then what she did is she created Anwong, this relief for people like her. The most tragic of it all is, is Nadia Muran. She is a Yetzidi. The Yetzidis are absolutely persecuted and killed and completely ethnic cleansing. Adil Mustafa Anna Boatwi is an extraordinary woman. She has an organization called the Alchemist Lab. And what she does is that she recognizes the gap in education for the people who have nothing and in refugee camps, and she gives. And we also know that the people who have no access to education want it the most. So if you give a little bit, it's like a blotting paper. They just absorb it. I mean, they're role models. and. And they make you feel so small. I mean, I tell you, I feel like, wow, I haven't done anything. So here she is, you see, where it's, it's, she's not a very good looking one. She's kind of shrunk. She's my goddaughter. This is Jonathan. What do you call yourself? A party producer. 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 So, Dan, we're going to step into the okay. Egyptian here. We'll just talk a little bit through the guest so, okay. flow. The private rooms for interviews. It's perfect. Two, two separate ones. I think this is great. I mean, with all these Egyptian wonderful things. Nadia will come and accept her award. But I want to look at all those, those speeches. Do you think that you, we have a sofa on stage and the winners stay? I no. think it's too long. I think it's too long. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, forget it. Oh, it's exciting. 
I'm happy we're doing it here, right? Very happy. I still don't know what I'm going to wear. Maybe I should wear white. White would be beautiful. Right? Yeah. It's all on you now. It's on me. You get all the blames. And the credit, I hope. What other media outlets have you been doing this week? Good Morning America and CBS and Salon and Seth and uh, what else? I don't know. It's uh, but it's nice. It's nice. That's that's the point. Just to promote it. Oh my God! Who sent me this? This is all, all from Seth. Seth for you. I'm gonna bring them down for the car to the car for you. But I mean, this is like murder. He says, DVF, love is life. He knows you well. We know each other there. Are you ready to ask? What I find magical is give exposure. I can, in, in, an email in the morning, I can hook one person with a person that they would have never met otherwise. And you can change people's lives. I mean, you, you can change people's lives. Luncheon has to be really intimate. I want total intimacy with these women. I mean, it's going to be absolutely magical. Hi. In the past decade, through the Dilla von Fürstenberg Family Foundation, we've been able to support the work of 51 extraordinary women, many of them of whom are here tonight. What all these women have in common is character. And as we know, character is the only thing that we have total control of. We can lose our health, our wealth, our family, our freedom, but we never lose our character, even under torture. The women we honor tonight have all had the courage to fight, the strength to survive, and the leadership to inspire. Congratulations to you all. Sometimes when you hear about genocide and massive injustice, we feel like there's nothing we can do. It's too big of a problem to be able to help. But it's not true. Even if we only save one life, we make a difference. Because behind every one life saved, there is a dynasty. I am a proof of that. After surviving a genocide, my mother gave me life. My birth was a miracle and I was her revenge. That's good, huh? Yeah. In charge!